welcome back guys today as always we are starting off with a super basic uh, sketch layer during this step you just need to worry about drawing triangles and a captivating uh, looking silhouette for uh, those mountains whenever you feel satisfied with the silhouette of the mountain range just grab a thicker pencil and simply sketch on top of the previous layer the very details of this uh, mountain range Try to work with uh, giving the mountain a rocky feeling by drawing uh, jagged uh, shapes and uh, lines for the ridge line and uh, try to interconnect them as much as you can because as you can see the main mountain I have drawn in the center, the very high peak I am outlining now with my ink tool, it has uh, its uh, ridge line connecting with the mountain in front of it. And make sure to do this to create a sense of depth, three dimensionality and uh, use overlapping as a mechanism to fool, let's say, uh, the viewers into thinking that the mountains you're actually drawing feel real and, uh, you know, three-dimensional. In this particular case, try to use the ridge line of a mountain to create a new mountain and then add the simple basic uh, details to create a little bit of uh, texture into your mountain sides and then we are ready to add the shadows. Now just pick a side from where the sun will be shooting its light against the mountains and draw the shadows on the opposite one. I will show you the whole process but it's not really necessary, I mean when you understand the, the basic concept of it, it's quite easy actually. The main thing you gotta keep in your mind is that to make it feel uh, more realistic you need to add a darker shade of grey just underneath the ridge line to make people understand that there is a strong uh, verticality in that point. I'm going to show in a bit what I just said. In Procreate you can easily use the smudge tool to blend in the two different uh, shades of grey, but if you're drawing from, um, from home with your paper and uh, rubber and ink, you can simply blend them with a white pencil or um, even with an intermediate uh, pencil between the two different shades you are using. And as you can see right now, I'm using this match tool to create this effect I have just told you about. And as always, the final step is about creating highlights. So just putting a light effect on the opposite side of the, the ridge line to create a three-dimensional uh, looking object, which is the, the whole mountain range in this case. And we are pretty much done. I will attach the final scan as always at the end of the video. And uh, you can simply scale this drawing according to your fantasy map. You can use it as a reference or as an inspiration. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.